Hey everybody, Asher here, back with even more Humankind, where the Assyrians are butts. Assholes. Let's just, I mean, it's Beowulf. What could you really expect if you've ever read that story? He's a jerk. He's sort of attacking our uh, nice little outpost that we have going on here. It's a good time. I did say I wanted to increase the difficulty, and here we go. Um, just to give you a little bit of a summary of where we are right now, we have 40 fame, which is not great. We actually do have a new contact here. I have something here that should please us both. So, Edgar Allan Poe apparently wanting to trade only luxuries. I'm actually okay with that. As just as you are wise. Is that so? Okay, but we do have a few problems here, and we do potentially have a few solutions as well. Like at San Lorenzo, we have this building, a uh, farmer's quarter, which will spread out the food growth quite a bit. Hopefully we'll unlock some actual science being built up over here. But the reason we're building that is that we want to work towards building our first Olmec head, which we're going to be doing kind of a hybrid influence food strategy to get our population up pretty fast, which means that... Um, this outpost, once we get here, we may just drop an Olmec head as well, because one of the things I didn't realize is that an Olmec head actually counts as a farmer's quarter as well. So, pretty cute. But, we do have some other issues that we'll get to in a minute, such as, if we look down here, we still have this troop to move. Now, we could try to move up here, and I thought there was a way that we could um, preview the little movements by mousing around. Like that can definitely happen. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's these little tabs down here. Might make it easier for you all to pay attention to uh, what resources are where. I don't always like playing with the resources on, but we're going to do it right now. But since this guy is going to get his butt kicked by these two that are over here, we're just going to try to run as fast as we can. There's actually another discovery here. Even though we're not in the ancient era, discoveries do pop up on the map. So that's just how it goes. But this is... This is part of the fun of the game, is that we do have somebody over here. We do have uh, Altais that we're trying to get together. We do have this here. I do have a surprise thunderstorm in the background, so hopefully that doesn't rock me too hard. But these people, we were originally trying to uh, get them to go home. Hopefully, uh, Eddie here, he's an introvert and wary. So it may mean that he's not going to try to bully us like Beowulf here who's risk-taking militarist and loves to, uh, like, attack people. Loves to attack people early. What's our biases? We don't know, but we're, I'm a little scared for uh, what's going to happen with the intern button here. But, as I said before, regardless of what bad things happen, I'm not just going to quit a save just because the start's a little crummy. We'll see. Okay, so we're getting rushed here, and this is where I initially made my miss. Whoa! They can move really far. I thought I'd be out of their movement range. Um, there must be something I don't know about these guys here. But we can still retreat with these guys. But once we retreat with them, we can't control where they can run to. And it doesn't look like there's a lot of places they can run. So we may just be delaying the inevitable. <laughs> yep, they, they ran to hide in the corner instead of running on a river that would stop their movement. So, you know what, I would rather them chase one random scout than to uh, go up here. We have grievances again. If I cannot teach you wisdom, I will teach you regret. Huh, that's nice. You did attack me, though. I'd love to uh, not trade with you, but that's fine. We could uh, open up closed borders here. Well, we already have closed borders. So they're not supposed to follow us into here. We do have some resources that are over here, but just looking back over here, we have dye that I do want to be able to get, and once we get Atlas over here, we'll have plenty of influence to... Uh, get that together. We have the scout. I know last time I said let's get it over here to reinforce, but I really need more scouting information because I don't have a lot of resources other than horses, sage, and it's kind of like, well, it's a little tough because um, I do want to build another um, outpost eventually. I can't build it this far away with, um, I'll need to wait to do it, but, so we're not going to do it yet, but I do want to build an outpost up here, but there's not really like a great tile for me to take over. I may like build on a hill here and just try to put more Olmec heads around over here. Well, you can only build one Olmec head, but like put one right here. Try to get the uh, farming on point. I'll have to figure that out later. Uh, there's there's so much to go into, and we are only on turn 19, which is kind of exciting that we're at this complicated of a point in the game. So where's our uh, Where's our sad army? Ooh, did, 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 what? 
I apparently asked you all to move. That's a little bit of a problem because I kind of just said I wanted to scout around down here. But I guess one of the issues is that we have Egyptian borders here. It looks like we're going to be locked into a kind of resource starved side of the continent. We'll see what we can do about this. A city means shelter for those who need it. A place to store food. Pens for the pigs. It may not be glorious, but it beats sleeping under trees. Okay. So this is a little awkward. We do not want to fight Egypt right now. And we don't want to run into here because this will stop our ability to move. But if we move down here, there's got to be a better way to manage these arrows. Like I said, I do want a few scouts running around. They're what you need to build outposts. I'd love to know if there's like another resource here, but I don't really want to build on Egypt's border if I don't have to. But we may have to because that's a region with another die. So like if we try to do the outpost thing here, we still can't because we need a little more influence. I went over that last turn. Oh, we have another battle. Uh, I got some bad news. We'll do the manual battle, because we know where this is going. End deployment. Uh, we only have uh, one problem here. We're getting outflanked. We can't actually retreat because this unit is, is exhausted. It's not only that we don't have anywhere to go, but you have a limited amount of times that you can retreat. So we're going to go out swinging, and we're not going to... Um, it's a little hard to tell who has the high ground here. So from damage versus damage and high ground. So we're going to try to do at least a little bit of damage take them out with us. Alright, so, rip. We have another grievance. No, I am sure Beowulf what is it? cares Don't get comfortable. a lot, but we're gonna go ahead and demand for all these things here. So, we demand 500. People would support us going to war with them if we wanted to, but we are in no position to do that right now. If you remember from our research, um, we have well, we have a few things going on here. We have three science that's coming into play here. We have another thing that are going to build. Let's go ahead and build the Olmec head. We're going to build it. I think it's probably best to put it up here. I thought about maybe putting it over here too. It gives us a little bit more food if we put it up here, to be honest. And then we just build some farmer's quarters down there. The alternative is doing this, and unfortunately it does look like I zapped my um, science by building farmer's quarters, so yeah, early, early gameplay mistakes. So the question is, do I want more influence or do I want to build towards something where we're just going to be doing this anyway? I think we'll actually put the Olmec head down here, which is a bit of an audible from before, but we have one, two tiles that we're definitely going to put farmer's quarters on versus here well i guess if we nuked that that'd be one two three possibly four this is better just thinking longer term all right so that's all my head we could rush it for a pretty penny but we don't really have that um, pottery workshop also is going to be good to build after as well so the other question becomes do we want to move this take six turns just to try to rush our science a little bit because it looks right now six turns versus nine turns versus building it a little bit faster the tech that we're going for will let us um, exploit resources that we don't actually have yet but we'll be able to get soon so I'm not in a rush to really get calendar so I'm going to keep it on industry. This is one of the really nice aspects of the game is moving this stuff around. I wish that the mouse over tooltips didn't cover up the necessary information, but like we're going to be we're going to be pumping out people. That's kind of, that's kind of our game plan here early, which means it really sucks that we have an aggressive neighbor. But uh, what can you do? You just you just play the hand that's dealt to you. All right, so in turn. But I think our goal is going to be to get up here. If I could find like a good territory, a good place to settle up here somewhere, then maybe I build an outpost over here. Maybe I build an outpost over here, over there. We do have a buck. It might be worth my time to at least punch it. Let's punch it. Manual battle, please. We'll deploy on the high ground. We will deploy on the high ground. All right. 
fuck it to me. Now, as far as I know, there's not like veterancy like maybe in some of the Civ games where you have a certain unit that keeps getting um, damage bonuses and everything, or gets bonuses for constantly surviving attacks. Let's see, okay, good RNG there. That's fine. So there's our uh, buck that just stopped right there. But we do get five money. More importantly, we get rid of a buck. Um, but like, if I want to put something up here, you, there will, you'll get tooltips sometimes that say like where to build a city. Like if we build a city here, it's eight five, eight three, six five. None of these are very ex inspiring. Like if I build a city somewhere, I want to have a good balance of food and I want to have a good balance of uh, production. And yeah, my my land is a little crappy, at least over here. If we try to build over here, on the other hand. Like, let's look at this scout for a second. If we try to do this outpost thing, and we're, we're not previewing it to do it right now. It looks like we're at the edge of our territory just about. This will create some border friction. But this area does look like it's a little bit stronger. We just need to be able to defend it ASAP. Of course, the game's saying, you know what? Uh, 16 and 9 is good over here. The problem is that it costs a little bit more influence because it's far away. Plus, I do want to be able to get horses eventually, although I don't need to necessarily get it first. So the the game plan might be to outpost, outpost, double outpost if I can, um, once this attaches, or once this goes forward, and then we can make this our second city, because we do have two cities on the cap. But first things first, we're on a river. Let's take advantage. Wow, this uh, territory goes down really far. As I said before, the river tiles will let you... Oh, Egypt has horses, too. It's very valuable information to have. And it doesn't look like we have too much other stuff other than a nice woolly mammoth. Game's like, hey, yo, why don't you build an outpost right there? Um, nah. But that's kind of funny. It's just like, we, we will build it right in our neighbor's area. But I'm all... I think... Sorry for the voice crack there. Apparently I hit puberty all of a sudden, but I think there's something to be said about locking down the northern side of the continent. And uh, even though it's just stupid die, we can still trade stupid die. So that's a, that's a positive. All right. So at least for the time being, I don't know if we're getting attacked by the Assyrians. We could do our as thief special ability. Um, what is that ability again? We pay money. Receives more fame when earning as these fame stars. Can spend money to promote patriotic works of art. Territories pushing back foreign spheres of influence and generating influence. So we don't need that yet, but we can definitely hit that emergency button pretty soon. So you know what? I think we want to put... I think we do want to put these people in position to uh, succeed although I kind of I kind of have a call that says let's explore down here just a touch first Egypt has had plenty of opportunity to attack me and they have not done it yet okay so this is about as far as we're gonna go Egypt has like neighborly gold as well so that's kind of a better area but I think I think we go up here and we just try to build a um, outpost wherever wherever feels good. Like 12 and 6, not the best, but acceptable. 9 and 8, I think 18 total. I love that we can get this cannot be done, this tile's occupied. This is kind of a way to cheat scouting, apparently. So one of those is the Egyptian unit. My concern is that because I moved a little bit further south, Egypt is going to build an outpost here first but it looks like this is the area to build an outpost there's no real high ground to speak of but we can use the mountains to at least defend stuff a little bit Egypt has like that's Memphis so they have a lot of other places they could go they don't they don't need to step to us um, right maybe <laughs> possibly okay let's uh let's let you heal um, but if I can if I can tag this area too, then this is gonna make 
this area easier to get and then I can come back for horses because the Olmex, they're a uh, their special unit um, the javelin throwers which we're going to be building a few of here very shortly um, you need you need population to build it which is kind of why it's a bummer that I lost some scouts early but we can at least hide them in some forest while we still have some forest and uh, see if we can keep from getting attacked that's an idea at least Okay, so calendar, artisan's quarter, granary. I mean, the granary, granary is valuable. And change of reputation, they are a merchant level one renown. And it looks like um, we are behind, no, we're behind two players right now. It's not that I'm trying to do bad. It's just that I've had kind of a rough start like what we're trying to do here if we can build up more of these stars that'd be good if we can get more agrarian stars so we really want to try to push that um, getting districts built we've only built one um, so we're going to be getting a few of these like the science stars <sighs> we're we're starting slow but it's not it's not going to stay slow so i guess at this point new technology definitely going to be carpentry um Domestication I'd love to get, but we're going to have to wait to get it. Um, irrigation could be good. Right, city. Def I think it's going to be that. And then city defense, to be honest. Oop, noop, noop, noop. Let's go to the stupid tree, because that did not work how I wanted it to. So carpentry first. City defense second. Masonry is not terrible. We don't have any copper to speak of. The wheel's pretty powerful. I guess we'll just figure it out as we go. Like, I'm not sieging anybody. Organized warfare actually could be really good. Um, the wheel's going to help us move around quite a bit because building roads is a pretty big deal. So maybe, maybe we do it this way. Even though I don't really care about chariots. Hmm. How many river tiles do we have that we're actually working I'm so used to like having rivers all over for the damn place, and right now we do here because we have the Indus River. So maybe going for irrigation afterwards is going to help. But we need to get our um, we need to get way more than three science here. So let's once we get an Olmec head up, we'll be moving. A little, once we get another population, we're going to drop that next population in science. I think that's a good plan. So move on up. Still got a mammoth. Still not getting attacked, at least. So that's 18 versus 17 versus 19. It's on a river, which sucks a little bit, but I, I kind of want to put it away, if at all possible. Like, maybe if we do it like this, we can still defend that way. I think this may this may work out better, even though it's 11 and 8. That's objectively better. Ugh, choices. Choices, choices. All right. We don't got it. We don't got to do it this turn. I guess one of the benefits, technically, is that I can found the city next turn. We do have one more turn before this place becomes an official outpost. So we've maybe there's something to be said about grabbing a spot right here where we can get a lot of resources. All right. I'm, I'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of playing. All right. And if we zoom out all the way out here, we don't have touching borders yet. We're about to. All right. So this place, we can turn it into a city for 160 influence. We do not want to do that. What we do want to do is to go here and then find the handy dandy attach button that will um, give our city a little bit of a stability penalty. It's okay because we have plus 50 stability from the capital, but suddenly this gives us all this land, which is really nice. Because now what this means is that we can build other shit over here if we want to. Like, we could end up just building 
an Olmec head. See, once again, the, the tooltips just going all over the place is a little bit of a problem. Like, there's five, there's five. This seems to be the place to do it. And then we just put some farmer's quarters around there. Just for the inc increased influence gain. Plus three, plus three, not very exciting. Can't look at that yet. We'll think about that, because that's probably where we want to put the farmer's quarter over there. These all do count as districts. So growth in two turns. Who's our idle army? You know what I'm going to do with this guy? I'm going to auto-explore up here for now, because there may be some curiosities. Like, yeah, here we go. I'm not going to auto-explore. I'm going to manually explore. Because there's curiosities just up here on the northern part of the map that I don't want Egypt uh, hoovering up if I can avoid it. Meanwhile, over here, if we look over here, now building an outpost should be a lot cheaper. Um, once again, the benefit of doing this this way, the game's really like, go here, and those are objectively better tiles. But if we go up here like this. I think I will do it this way and we'll um we'll try to make nice with the um Egyptians real quick. How do they feel about us? Let us speak honestly. Well they um except they're wary. You'll need to deploy, deploy efforts to convince them. They're not gonna like it if we settle here. Um Let's do it anyway. And let's do it here. Okay. So that's eventually going to make a grievance. But this opens up a much better territory up here. So I kind of need to send a scout up there to do that eventually. We also need to kind of defend our border, which means getting uh, some units out in just a minute. Which kind of stinks a little bit that... um. Once again, we lost units, but we'll get we'll get our food engine going pretty soon. We're only turn 25, but it's not like it's not like we're trying to be mean. Technically, Memphis is over here. I can see some of their shit over here too, so that's nice. All right, who's who's sleepy? You're sleepy. All right, let's move you up here. Let's just see. Oh look, everybody, everybody wants to be a mammoth today. Well, these mammoths are not aggressive unless you aggress them first, so we'll try not to do that. And this, this is a buck where that will end our combat. So let's do this first. So see curiosity, see eight science, 10 influence. It's actually a really big boost. And we know what this combat looks like now. So we're just gonna instant resolve. They actually took some a little bit of damage there. More than a little bit. So we'll probably need to heal you guys up in here. But see, there's the there's the Egyptians just going like, we're gonna scout over here, we're gonna get all the info for all this area, and I wanna get some of these curiosities for myself. Alright, so 79 influence. Like, I'm trying to play catch up on uh, the territory game here, but like San Lorenzo still is at 100% stability. So we should be able to attach one of these territories, no problem. Um, we really need to um, get our influence going, though. Man, I am, uh, I am suffering from not being able to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Okay, Olmec head up here. Artisan's quarter right here. So that's good. Yeah, that seems okay. We'll make it back in just a little bit. Let's heal you up. And uh, let's let's be brave and follow the river. Follow me. No, follow the river. It gives us just a little bit of extra movement, but I do want to kind of keep my eyes open over here because we have two more turns before we get this place. 
And technically we could attach this to San Lorenzo as well and probably be okay. Um, right now it's an undefended outpost, which is like asking for trouble. And we do, it looks like we do have a few little footpads and stuff, but uh, eventually, eventually we're going to be able to get some of the stuff here. Oh, one of the other things is that I could totally spend like, once I have the outpost here, I could spend influence to uh, build that up instead. Don't know if I want to do that. Don't know if I want to pay money to do a cultural blitz just yet. Maybe once these areas all get built. Seems okay. So let's pick up the pace. We have another event that came up. City re city defense. That's good. I think we may, in the, in the interim, while we are waiting for other stuff to finish, we may want to build a warrior. So we do kind of have one more person that maybe we need. So hopefully we can get rid of the money person here. So Pottery Workshop gives us influence. That's good. We actually almost have enough money to buy that. So how many turns? Five turns for this? Okay, that's fine. Because we'll get another population in three turns. Like I said, we just got to get the... Um, we just got to get the food engine going. All right. Could also build a garrison as well. We'll we'll figure it out because we're we're totally doing that. We're totally building the Olmec head somewhere. See right there, right there. New grievance very available. New grievance available. What? When? Since? Since when? I do not live for revenge, but I could die for it. Claim to territory on our border and trespassing. Where are you trespassing? Oh, they claim that area. You know what? Um, I'm going to renounce that grievance. I'm going to renounce that grievance. We kind of knew that was coming. And honestly, that land is uh, super barren, so they can have fun with that. All right. So here's us. I keep thinking Egypt's red, but that's us that's red. All right. What's our event? Land of the dead. For hundreds of years, the dead of San Lorenzo have been laid to rest in burial sites within the, or close to the city's borders. Now, however, with fast rising population, many dying every moon, these sites are becoming overcrowded. Future burials could lead to disease of corpses awaiting processing. Cremation might be the wiser option. What do you decree? So we could do bury them, which this will affect our uh, social axes, or we could do cremate. So, forced labor, minus stability, plus industry gives us a traditional sense or we can do cremate soldiers will need to ensure obedience but cremated to have healthy citizens um increased unit cost which actually sucks a little bit because we're building unit but we get plus 10 food burn it we're literally building a warrior right now though so maybe we um We're just gonna we're just gonna eat the cost because we're gonna get more population here in just a minute anyway. Um, can we make this warrior pop up a little bit faster? So four versus three, that's fine. We'll still get a population for that. That's still four. Let's get our research moving. We don't we don't need the cash as much, but since we do have some border friction now. And we look up here, there's no trade route, San Lorenzo, no trade route here. We're going to go ahead and uh, pump up the jam. All right. So converting to Olmecs in six. Olmecs have hold on this, Olmecs have hold on this. So... Convert for 30. It cannot be done as you're not the owner of the city or the outpost. Okay, well. Okay, did that work? I think so. There we go. So we're going to try to push our influence out here. At least as far as we can. 
think one more turn of healing will be good for you. Let's continue to follow the river. Like I said, we just want we just want more goodies. And um That's a good spot. That's a good spot. So this will be 80. We're not going to we're not going to do that. But once this once this area pops in, it should cost a little less. Maybe if it doesn't then it doesn't. Cuz we're we're ready to build a second city. Idle army right here. Let's wait a turn. We're going to do this for science. So here's this outpost. It costs 160 influence to turn it into a city, which is a little bit of a problem. Because if we build an outpost right here, that'll still cost 80. <coughs> but we're getting we're getting some stuff pretty fast. So look right there, there's another curiosity. So good for us. So we're we're doing the expansionistic stuff really, really late. But that's the way it goes. By the way, cultural... I don't know exactly how to take a look at the cultural stuff again. Like, I wish that... I know that map came up before, but let's see. Okay, we can we can beat, we can beat down another thing, or I would kind of rather just... You're healed enough. I'd rather just find where y'all are spawning from. And just solve it there. By the way, if we want to build an outpost up here, this one's cheaper. And that's because it's part of our connected territory. This is not. So this is the, the cost of reaching our tendrils a little bit farther, which this is exactly why we're trying to get more influence, I guess. Cultural conversion started. Pollux will enter the sphere of influence in, of Egypt in five turns. No, no, sir. I do not like that Sam I am. And once again, I'm not exactly sure how we go about changing, like seeing the view where like Egypt is just trying to eat this, but eh, we'll figure it out. All right, two idle units. This is totally a gamble to see where we think a little pop-up is. Fortunately, gamble paid off. Can't get it this turn though. Oh, hell. I think Egypt actually took the thing. And did I build this on the wrong area? Hmm. I meant to build it over here. Uh, well... That's, that's just the name of the game sometimes. Yeah, Egypt, Egypt, you're kind of suck. All right, well, I mean, technically, you know what I can do real quick? And I don't normally like doing this, but we are very early in, like, the game here. When it's something just as questionable as, hey, wait a minute, did I officially do this in an area that I'm supposed to that I don't mind reloading here just a little bit. I'm sorry for the like loading screen and stuff, but I want to make sure that if I'm playing this through here, I'm, I'm doing it the uh, right way. Y'all, if y'all have watched my channel at all, you know that I'm not like a uh, save and quit just kind of when bad shit happens to me kind of person. But when it's something like this where it's a game mechanic that maybe something went wrong that I didn't quite understand, or maybe the mouse slipped a little bit. I'd rather fix it now. So, drinks. I can get that progress bar going. I, I told myself I wouldn't have a loading bar in video number two, and here we are. But I'm going to play it the same as I did before, which means that Egypt is going to get that a little curiosity first, and there's not a lot I can do about that. But if that keeps me from uh, getting this up here, so once again, we're here. We are just going to bite the bullets and build the outpost, so this is where it ended up building. 
I wanted to build it here. There's also over here. I don't know how in the world that happened. Because I definitely did not click down there. So. Alright. For whatever reason, maybe it was correct the first time, I don't know. But... Now there's no question that it's correct, so let's move up here. Because that's what we did last time. And we're gonna go follow this follow this path and then go up there. Because that's where something is. Like I said, the bonuses get bigger as you find more curiosities. I hate that we're having to eat the penal the diplomatic penalty for the warrior, but at least we can get irrigation going and uh, maybe make some headway on this. Alright, in turn. Because we really need to get that military unit out. So cultural appropriation is appropriating. Egypt's going to swoop in. Egypt did not swoop in. Huh. Alright, well. Can I get it? Nope. Do I attack them? We can kind of take advantage of the high ground here. Do I attack them over access to a curiosity? I don't think I can kill them though, so I'd rather not take the hit. It's not worth it. Plus we're playing it out like we did last time, so not going to bother. Alright, one. And for all I know it doesn't spawn here. Okay, it did spawn. Cool. And this time for some reason we can get it, and we got a, a volunteer, so we got another warrior next to the hunting party or an army of warriors so <gasps> excellent okay we have city defenses get get your butts down here like report for duty right now dude not even not even twice it's also really nice that egypt didn't get that um hopefully it won't be that all right so two more turns for another warrior Population gain in San Lorenzo, as we know. New grievance, asking for reparations now. If I cannot teach you wisdom. Why do I why do I always assume the grievance is from you guys? Crises. Claim territory on my border and ooh. Bruh. Oh. You went and did it. Okay. You, you took the thing. I'm not the one with the diplomatic hit, though. So we need to block off this area as best we can. I don't think they can drop down from there, so if I deploy right here, should be okay. We'll find out in a minute, anyway. Alright, so Egypt is coming to town. I just apparently gave them the high ground like a moron. Alright, well, lessons learned, I guess. So I should have taken the highest ground. That's a lot of combat strength they have. Let's drop down here. So... They still can't hit us. Yes, they can. And if we attack up here, that's a suicide mission. So we're just gonna end the round here. So that sucks that that happened. And um, battle's gonna go into the next round. So. Apparently, we. I don't understand what happened. But apparently, we did not lose that. So. Found an old horde providing 20 gold. All that for money. Alright, Egypt. Talk to me. Apparently, uh, war support didn't really change very much. They lost. I have no idea how they lost. Claimed a territory on our border. So, where did they claim? It must be like... Well, I'll figure that out in a second. Their grievances. Oh, that's their grievance with us. Okay. Well, yeah. Pay me. 
Such transgression cannot be simply dismissed. Demands for war, etc., etc. Your population's war support went up. I don't know how we won. They want us to give them? No. Absolutely not. Demand withdrawn. All right. You better change your mind, dude. This is this is diplomacy in action. All right, so we're moving down here. We have religion available. Shamanism, uh, one faith per population, which seems really positive with our food focus build. But I'm going to go polytheism just because of plus five faith for each attached territory. So religion, it's here. Um, we have Olmec polytheism. They have animism. Um, the nice thing about this is that we can build a holy site. And holy hell, we have some great, terrible land to build a holy site on. Um, although, honestly, holy site may work out better for me if I build it over here. Because right now, one of the big benefits of uh, a holy site is going to be the stability bonus and we already have a stability bonus from the capital so yeah plus 20 faith plus 20 over here but if we build it like up around here in this area that'd be good I like pollux pollux will be ready soon i have no idea how i how i won but i'm gonna just thank the reload for that all right so we're looking for curiosity still it's nice that in further eras we still have stuff for scouts to do so here's our uh, additional warrior so that's a positive this warrior for now is gonna be well here's the thing is that I don't know where I'm gonna be attacked from so eventually I am gonna want some spear throwers technically it's my capital that they're gonna go after so we're just gonna station you here all right and you still need to work your way down here, but we're gonna um, we're gonna eat some venison on the way because there's actually another curiosity here, which is nice. We got a little more money for that. More money, more influence. So there's our sanctuary. This is this is what we wanted to find. So all we're gonna do is just ransack it. That's even more gold. We have six more turns before we can do the next thing. All right, so a plan is coming together. We started off with some problems. We have another population game this time, and Pollux apparently ransack successful. Change of reputation. Unknown has gained a renown as a merchant level one. So there may be someone else on our continent that we don't know about. So here's Pollux. There's lightning I can actually see out the window, so we may stop this video a little short just to make sure I don't lose the recording. Um, but yeah, we're going to evolve this outpost into a city for sure, but this is what I'm talking about. We can use influence to drop artisans' quarters, but I kind of would rather save that influence to actually attach stuff. So let's go ahead and move you guys down here. So there we go. Even more influence. I don't think we're going to be able to get it this turn. It's going to take like some very friendly die rolls but you never know maybe we get 20 influence here nope more curiosity just stuff collected all right we don't have any civics unlocked that's we're 30 turns in without a civic unlocked that's bizarre all right well pottery workshops going to be something that's long overdue Another Olmec had something that's going to be long overdue. Granary is going to be something that's long overdue. Let's go ahead and put you over here. And then an obelisk of the gods is something that is a shared thing being built by everybody. So we'll figure that we'll figure that out in a minute. All right. One idle army. You're still idle. Wonder why I can't. S I, I still have fog of war in my territory. That's so fun. San Lorenzo converted to a new religion, and look, one of our agrarian stars has been earned. 
So our population, we're starting to speed up there. So we're at 122 fame. We're still pretty... Oh my god, we're seventh place. Okay, so us getting shellacked early means that we're in catch-up mode. Well, this is the worst I've ever done in a game of humankind, and it's for a series that I'm recording. So that's fun. Um, like, literally just terrible. And hello? Who are you? You're mercenaries. And you guys are just chilling, I guess. Don't know who hired you. But we may need to tread a little more lightly. But we are going to go ahead and do this. We're going to convert you to a city. So that'll be good. Obelisk of the Gods will take a while. We could um, build a lot of things first, but probably best to do the stupid old mech head. We did a farmer's quarter, though. It's only plus one, plus three, plus five. Maybe, maybe not the best, maybe not the best start here. If we drop an Olmec head right here, though, we're definitely going to be building some farms over here. So that's, that's not terrible. Alright, so that's plus three, plus five. Okay. Alright, so Olmec head first. So, please don't attack us mercenaries that were probably hired by the Egyptians. Good. Can we get that? Yes, we can. More money. Need to move you over here. There's a river between us and them, so... I guess we need to go ahead and enact the plan of... Um, Okay, we're doing irrigation, and then we're doing carpentry. That seems backwards, but okay. It's every everything's everything's a problem. But I mean, I'm still, I'm still alive. I'm like way behind. So y'all are just moving for fun. I guess technically, I need to send a scout over here just to figure out what's over to the east. So that's fine, we'll do just that. We're gonna be uh, connecting this territory in another turn. Which means right now, since those mercenaries are out of the way, we'll just drop you on the river and get you over to this area, which means Technically, our big defensive places are over here and over here, unless we put a um, some other defenders there. Okay, who's idle? You're idle. Of course you're idle. Okay, that's that was a stupid move. That's the fun part, isn't it? So we need archers. We need to get to our unique unit, and then we need to catch the hell up, because right now we are literally last place. Amazing. <laughs> All right, um, auto-explore, I guess. Even more mercenaries. Well, that's a problem. Y'all aren't even, like, free people. Y'all are just out to, out to kill. Okay. They're not out to kill. Oh, there's an encampment. Okay. That would do it. So irrigation's research, we're going to get this next. Okay, can't move you guys yet. Let's be really stupid. 
and move you all up here. So non-hostile tribe Rome's strong wiles to settle the, in this sackable camp. Well, if it's sackable, we need new research. Should be carpentry. I don't know. I was supposed to have researched that a long time ago. Um, we have How? notifications. How might I be a maid? Why are you suspicious? I mean, dude, I know you're wary. But come on, man. You're also, like, way ahead of us, so that's fun. Alright, so... I'm gonna click here. Old Mac Head will help just a little bit. Old, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. We build a maker's quarter. We don't want to build it down there. Ugh, there's not there's not a lot of great choices. But we could do this in 14 turns. Like over here. Let's do it on one of these one tiles. All right, so you guys are now just trying to give people a bet. Oh no. Can I please undo that move? We're going to have to retreat. Um, Alright. So, scout down here. Let's see if there's something that I'm, like, horribly missing over here. So, not only is this, like, one of the worst starts I've ever had in this game, but I'm, like, getting dunked on by the AI. But, I'm, you know what? There's something to be said about, like, actually losing. Okay, um... Our auto explorer has gone a little too ham. Um, new grievance available. It was not love or hate at first sight. Who are you trespassing? You're trespassing right here. But we can't see you. As I said, I knew these guys were going to attack because I missed steps. So let's run. That's fine. Maybe I don't care very much that they're trespassing. But unfortunately, I don't know if we'll be able to sack this encampment right now. I don't know if that's going to be able to take out stuff. Um, I guess we'll find out. And then we'll move you all next time. So, the first calendar. All right. The invention of the calendar is heralded a glorious day in the Empire's history. Now with two major cities and numerous farming affairs need to be harmonized across the land, it's time to standardize the calendar. Oh, we're going to do metric time now. Traders have an easy means of synchronizing their activities. By what mean do you wish to track the day? Solar. The learned assure you that this calendar will better stand the passing of the seasons. And that puts us towards social progress or lunar. The waxing waning of the moons is something familiar and comforting to the people. We're going to go with solar. And uh, I'm really surprised that we still don't have any potential civics. That is just weird to me. Can't culture bomb until next turn. We got this building. It's kind of weird to be building that first, but... We have that. We have an Olmec head. You know, we're, we're just going to... We do need to build, like, an artisan's quarter here. Need to build an artisan's quarter here. Like, where are we, where are we behind on stars? We need more builder stars. As these stars are apparently really hard to get when you don't build stuff early. We almost have another science star, which is a little ridiculous that we're this far behind. Alright, well... Let's hit this turn button one more time, and then we're, um... Who's our idle army? Okay. Just poke my head over here real quick. There we go. Another curiosity. All right, we're going to hit the intern button here. Um, ransack is successful. Carpentry is researched. We can get some javelin throwers, finally. Era star unlocked for science. We're going to really try to build up our culture really hard here. 
We got a really nice curiosity apparently from animal carcasses. Ransack successful. So yeah, we are behind. We're still behind. <laughs> apparently so are the Assyrians. So we suck, but we suck together. We have brought each other down successfully. So that'll do it for this one. This is Asher. We're going to do some more humankind here in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe this is not the first thing I want to be building. But if San Lorenzo is almost done with some of this, maybe maybe we switch off of this for a minute because we've already selected the site. And maybe we um, do some other stuff that's going to work out a little better, like a pottery shop just to try and get some of the stuff building. You know what? In fact, if we can buy it, I'll just buy it. Get some more influence. We need some of that every every turn. Always be influencing. It sounds like a terrible TikTok thing. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed everything, and we will do this again soon. Like the video if you liked it, etc., etc. You know the deal by now. See you next time.